Hi, I'm James Parrish, and I'm the race director here at Nuclear Races. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for being part of our race crew. On the day, you'll be briefed in detail by your zone team leader. But firstly, let's run through some of the most important points. Remember, at any time, if you don't understand anything, please ask us on the radio. If your radio fails, then please feel free to phone race control using the numbers in your information pack. Remember, help is always at hand. Just ask. If you are marshalling on the course, please make sure you familiarise yourself with the marshal information sheet that you have been issued with. This has all the critical information that you need on the day. Your team leader will brief you on the day in more detail and will then take you to your station. You will be told your obstacle, name, number and team leader zone. You will need this if you do require help during the day from the radio. If you are issued a radio, you will be shown how to use it. Make sure you have used the radio before you need it in an emergency. There will be a radio check just before the race starts. There is a procedure we would like you to use when talking on the radio. Speak slowly and calmly. Hello Control, this is James. I've just moved to obstacle 63, over. State your obstacle number. Race Control, Race Control, this is obstacle 20, over. Then wait for Race Control to answer before continuing your message. Obstacle 20, come in, over. Race Control, we've got a, uh, a medical emergency at our post, somebody with a uh, suspected broken ankle. Can we have a medic and evac straight away, please? Over. Please remember when you are speaking to Race Control to release the transmission button so that you can hear Race Control's response. A significant problem which occurs on race day is the transmitter button on the side of the radio being accidentally pressed by clothing etc. Please make sure you keep your radio safe and clean and dry but not where it will get accidentally pressed or not. If you have an under 18 year old who requires help then you need to radio race control and they will advise you what to do. Don't forget you will need the racer's name and the nature of the evacuation required. Please let race control know that they are under 18 and make sure an adult stays with them at all times. Nuclear Races has a duty of care to safeguarding and promote the welfare of children. Please ensure you read the safeguarding section of your information pack and adhere to the guidance and best practices. At the end of the day, please remain at your obstacle until the sweeper, who is clearing the course, runs past you. Radio race control when they're past, and wait for your team leader to personally release you, or perhaps to redeploy you. Please be patient as it's a busy part of the day. We would also greatly appreciate it if you're able to pick up any litter or marking tape around your obstacle, and leave it in a heap next to your obstacle for us to pick up the following day. By clearing up the litter on the day, this helps keep the farm nice and clean and tidy. Your feedback is very important to us. We never stop learning here at Nuclear, so please email your comments, whilst it's fresh in your mind, back to us. Please remember, we're all about having fun safely here at Nuclear. Be motivational, be noisy, be happy and be positive. If you have fun, the runners will have fun. You're welcome to help runners as much as you're comfortable with, but please do be careful and don't put your own safety at risk. On that note, please read the Marshall Risk Assessment and please wear your high vis at all times. And lastly, thank you from all of us at Nuclear Races for helping out. We couldn't do it without you. <laughs>